Right off the bat, looking at the slides over here in the thumbnail preview, I can tell you that this presentation has no slide transitions. If there were slide transitions, there would be a little star over here with lines just behind it. Meaning that when I run my slideshow and I go from slide 1 to slide 2, instead of just jumping right to slide 2, I could have a transition that will fade into slide 2, dissolve into slide 2, or, or checkerboard into slide 2. To set up your transitions, come up here, click on the Animations tab, and then down here in the transition to, to the slide group, you've got your transitions here. Anytime you hover over one of these transitions up above, it'll actually show you what it's going to look like. You can see I did the cut here, so if I go back off and I come back on, it's going to cut whatever that means. Here, how about dissolve here? See how it dissolves into that slide, slide one? So it's not applying to the slide until I actually click on it. And I haven't clicked on it just yet, so let's go ahead and apply a few transitions to see what it looks like during our slideshow presentation. So I'll do something like dissolve. I clicked on it. Now you can see that when I'm on slide one, two things have happened. First of all, it's in orange. It's outlined in orange, what I have selected or what's applied to slide one. And, and then also over next to the number one, you have this little tiny star. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got lines behind it. It just means that it's ready to transition or shoot, like a shooting star as it were, into slide one here. And when it does, it's going to dissolve. Let me go ahead and select slide two, and the default is no transition. When you hover over that, you get a little pop-up, it's no transition. So if I come over here and I set dissolve, and I'm like, uh, I don't like dissolve, I could come back on the same slide, make sure you got it selected slide two, and then just go ahead and click no transition. And it removes that little star that was just next to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down arrow and choose some other ones, maybe wipe right and go to slide three and expand, click on the more button for transitions, you get a list of more options here click on it. Now after I go ahead and I set up a few transitions, first of all, keep in mind that just adding a transition to a slide can be very annoying and nauseating for your audience. What I mean by that is that on the first slide, if it's dissolved, the next slide it wipes, the next slide it curtains in, and I mean, pretty soon as an audience member, I'm losing sight of your PowerPoint presentation, what the main point is, because I'm so caught up in all these transitions, I'm like, I'm wondering what's going to happen next when you go to the next slide. I say keep them all uniformed unless you're really making a punch on one of your slides. Again, it's not because you can do it that you're going to do it. Does it actually fit your presentation? Does it fit your style? So now that I've applied all my transitions, you notice how fast they went? Well, I'm on slide one here. Let me click on it. You can come up here into the group here and change the speed. So you want it coming fast or slow. That's slow. Go to slide two. In fact, I'll do most of them slow so you can see what it looks like here. And then slide three, you'll put like maybe at medium. Transition sound, you can click the drop down arrow. When it comes in, you can have the applause. And of course, you probably did, you didn't hear this, but my speakers are up and all, I get this huge applause. I mean, hey, if your audience is an applause, why not go ahead and put one in for your slide so you can kind of egg the audience on that you would like an applause. In any case, I'm going to go ahead and click the drop down arrow and say no sound. Make things easier on you. If you want to go ahead and keep with the same transition, which is usually nice because your audience isn't going to get distracted with your G Wiz effects, like, hey, G Wiz, look what I can do. Instead, just go ahead and click apply to all and automatically you can see it's applied to all. Or like I said, again, if you don't want it to apply it to all, just go ahead and click the more button here. Come up here to no transition. Click on it once so there's no transition on slide three. And if I click apply to all, it's going to actually affect all the slides, including slides one and two. So maybe I can hit the undo button, at least for now, to get away with it. But remember, if I closed out of PowerPoint, come back in, it's not going to work, the undo button. So then I have to go to each slide and say, you know, this slide, I don't want to transition. And click on the more button and say no transition. Let me go ahead and run my slideshow. I'm going to go click on slide one and then come down here on the frame of PowerPoint and click on the slideshow button. Dissolves in. Pretty nice, huh? Now to go to the next slide, I just have to click on my left mouse button and it wipes to the right. And then when I click, there's no transition. It just pops up. To end the slideshow, I'm just going to go ahead and hit the escape key. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.